Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. The boys are back in Cobham to prepare for the game on Sunday against Everton. You ask yourself, what the point of training? Because we train to lose? Because it doesn't look like we are training for anything. No purpose, no nothing. On the pitch, no energy. But during the training sessions, you will see them smiling, scoring goals for fun. On a match day, zero IQ in the final third. How many chances we are missing? If you look at statistics right now, we missed the more clear chances than any team in the Premier League right now. Nice to see Chile and Trevor Chaloba back in training but do not really wait for them to be on the pitch that quickly. I think they might come back in January, but it's always good to see them with the boys um, at Cobham. Richard, remember him? The Whisper. Dujon, Whisper, Richard. He also is uh, at Cobham training on his own at the moment because he have to you know, match the level and the speed before you get with the group. But nice to see him. Christopher Nkunku not going to play against uh, Everton. And I'm getting a little bit tired of this. Wait and wait and wait until when? For me, I'm okay waiting. But slowly and surely bringing them into the team. Five minutes, ten minutes here and there. Because if we wait, we wait. The reality is on that pitch, right? There is no guarantee that he's going to come and he's not going to get injured again just because he waited for two years. Does that make sense to anybody? The real fear is on the pitch. Will he have the mentality to go for 50-50 jewel? Because everything is in your mind. You've been injured for a long period of time. You're an injury-prone player you are afraid of getting injured again. So the more you are on the pitch and playing real games, even for five minutes and 10 minutes, it's going to build your confidence. But waiting and waiting, this is not the solution. Life comes at you very fast. Pochettino moved from, we're going to win, we're going to win, we have to win. This is Chelsea, no excuses. Injuries is not a problem. Young players, not a problem. We have to set up standards. Chelsea is about winning and winning from day one. To now, he is talking about, oh, you have to understand it's a young team. We need time. We have a lot of injuries. We have such and such. Remember when we appointed Pochettino, I told you not to set up high expectations people came at me and said that i have a defeated mentality this is chelsea we are entitled we have to win everything and even pochettino himself came out on the first press conference as a chelsea manager and said that uh, we're gonna win everything <laughs> we are here to win so it just set, uh, setting up unrealistic target because with this kind of players this kind of team building a brand new team with a bunch of kids i knew it was going to be a problem i'm not pochettino out by the way i'm gonna support him until the end i will give him two years because he signed a contract for two years i think by next season we might see a lot of progress from pochettino and his boys there is no quick fix shortcut here. The project needs to go until the end. You can't restart a new project because something is wrong. Chelsea need to change that mentality because I've seen many people online, they want Jose Moreno back, they want Hansi Flick, Xavi Alonso, and so on. Let me tell you something, my friend. All of them, are going to need their own players 
and they're gonna need also time to implement their ideas so there is no quick fix here bring whoever you want it's not gonna change anything with this bunch of kids that play for Chelsea right now let's now talk about the game on Sunday between Everton and Chelsea Football Club at Goodison Park under the light my friend that is going to be hell on earth and when people ask me are you afraid of Everton do I look like I'm afraid of anybody <laughs> all the jokes aside people yes I am afraid because Everton have the siege mentality at the moment us against the world us against the Premier League since the Premier League deducted 10 points from them they got all 10 points back very quickly they are beating teams for fun look at the other night they completely destroyed Newcastle United and Newcastle United they destroyed Chelsea Manchester United uh, Arsenal and even other teams that they were not even supposed to beat so how strong Newcastle been this season and getting destroyed that way by Everton tells you something or never say die attitude that they have the fans are gonna be on top of the game they're gonna sing from minute one to the last they're gonna be outside the stadium welcoming Chelsea with all kind of hostility it's going to be hell on earth and we don't win often at that stadium the last time we won I think was Thomas Tuko a penalty from Jorginho and they were just unlucky so I'm telling you right now lower your expectations Goodison Park is one of the boogie grounds but I have the impression that I've been telling you that about every single team. Brentford, boogie team. Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest. So every team is a boogie team for Chelsea right now. This is my starting 11. And you don't have to agree with me because you're not going to convince everybody. We see football differently. I will go with... Uh, Levi Cowell, Thiago Silva, Badia Schiele, Rhys James. In the midfield, Conor Gallagher, of course, Moises Caicedo, and Enzo Fernandez. In front, I will go with Raheem Sterling, Armando Broja, and Cole Palmer. I know many people don't want to see Thiago Silva or whatever it is. But remember the last game against Manchester United, I told you I don't want to see him play that game because it was like two days off only for a 39 years old. I didn't want him to get injured or get so tired. And we saw what happened on the pitch because he was lacking energy. And I wanted to see Badia Schiele. And people know that uh, Silva is my boy. I will play him every single game if I have to. I, if I have to, but you have to protect him against himself. And we saw what happened last game. Probably Badia Schiele was going to offer Chelsea more than Thiago Silva and Thiago Silva was going to be more fresh for the Everton game. But this is not an exact science. We are just guessing. Maybe, maybe not. What could happen? You know what I mean? And other positions, I don't have to explain myself. All I'm asking for is more energy, more fight, more determination. Gallagher is in the midfield and he's going to bring that. I am uh, a little bit worried about set pieces. Chelsea are awful defending crosses and all kind of set pieces. So we have to be very careful and also Robert Sanchez, please do not play with fire from the back. Uh, sounds like a broken record. He keeps on doing the same stupidity over and over and over again every single game. 
like four, five, six times. Mistake after mistake after mistake. But because he also makes some world class saves that people tend to forget his crappy, crappy games. Listen, I'm still very confident about my team, but I don't see us really winning. My heart is telling me that Chelsea is gonna win because that's what I do. I'm, I don't wanna predict my team to lose. But if you use common sense, you see how good and organized Everton are, you must be afraid. So I think it's going to be a draw, 2-2 two, two draw. And that is not going to be the worst result this season for Chelsea Football Club. Armando Broja to score and also Moises Caicedo to score.